And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Tanya Moberly. Yeah. Yeah. 
sentimental song, a sort of sentimental song. And listen and take is very long. Harry, 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 Harry. I love Harry. I want to marry Harry. Not a Harry or a Barry, but Harry, Harry, Harry. Mr. John Weber. We are crossing a finish line here tonight, people. Thank you for braving the cold to join us. I started this series back in September with Sean Harkness, and I've done a different show every three weeks. Uh, so the previews were Sean Harkness, Rick Hen, Ian Herman, Mark Janice, Ray Watkins, and Mr. John Weber. So I could not be more thrilled than to be here this evening. I don't know how I got here. I'm so happy to be here. Um, people ask me how I do this. I don't know how I do this. Uh, but I'll tell you why I do this. Um, I do this because I love to sing a lot of different kinds of songs. And I love to work with a lot of brilliant different musicians. And um, the shows are all very, very different. Um, back in 2015, I did a, a series called Songs I Feel Like Singing, where I did four different shows with four different musicians. And those guys were Mark Janis, Sean Harkis, Rick Hannon, and Steve Ray Watkins. And then last year, I wanted to do a whole other four show series, and I wanted to focus a little more on songwriters. So I did a blues show with Ian Herman, I did an Amy, Ani, Ricky, Joni show with Ritz, I did a Kenny Loggins show with Steve Ray Watkins, and I did a Harry Nielsen show with this fabulous man, John Weber. So um, I'm bringing, bringing John back to join me with this year's lineup. I wanted to put all six of these guys in a row and sort of um, do some tunes we've done before, but add on to them. So just to explain the difference, for example, Sean Harkness' show was basically singer-songwriter, folk, classic, acoustic, rock, and that songwriting was concentrated in a nine-year period between 1968 and 1977. The Mark Jana show was all musical theater, from, from songwriting from 1950 to 1987. The Steve Ray Watkins show was kind of a greatest hits because we had done four shows together. So it was the Barbara Streisand show, the I Love New York Songwriter show, the Kenny Loggins show, and then some tunes from the songs I feel like singing. And then both the Ian Herman and the Ray Hand shows were kind of a combination of jazz, blues, rock, pop, and standards. And the Ian show was like 1940 to 2016, and the Red show was 1928 to 2014, I think. So what I wanted to do with this fine gentleman um, was take the songs of Harry Nielsen, um, an add-on, sort of like a, a Nielsen Plus show, because I'm crazy about Harry Nielsen. I'm crazy about his songs and his writing. And I knew the minute I wanted to do a Nielsen show, I wanted John Weber, because there was nobody that was more suited to this material than John. And when we did it last year, I really focused on pretty much the songs that Harry wrote. So tonight, what I wanted to do was add in um, other songwriters that he loved and that he recorded, uh, because he loved recording his own material but he also loved recording a lot of other people. And then other people recorded his stuff. So for example, that first song, Vine Street, was written by Randy Newman, and he recorded it on an album called Nielsen Sings Newman in 1970. He did an entire album of Randy Newman, because he felt like it, because he's a nut, and that's why I love him. That second song, What Will I Do, was written by Irving Berlin, and Harry recorded it on an album in 1973 called A Little Touch of Schmielsen in the Night. And he took all these great, standards from the Great American Songbook, and recorded it with a full symphony orchestra. Completely unheard of at the time, way before, like, you know, Linda Ronstadt or all these other people did it. And then that last song, Harry, was written by Eric Idle, who you might know from Monty Python, who's sort of a lot fame now. And um, Eric wrote that for Harry, and sang it and recorded it on Harry's last 1980 album, Flash Harry. So, um, that was just a little sample to start. Um, of course, I've got a million lyrics in my head, so I prom I, I, I'm praying that they all come out of my face. <laughs> but it's been my experience so far that if I blow a lyric, nobody dies. <laughs> so you're all pretty safe. I'm gonna take a sip of water and a deep breath. <laughs> and here we go! Looking 
get another man's wife Then there were nine Nine little Indians Their hearts all full of hate One took another's goods Then there were eight Eight little Indians They just got down from heaven One told a lie about another's best friend Then there were seven Seven little Indians All trying to get their kicks One thought he found another way to get to heaven Right out the door. 
the talent, 46 and the two were to survive. Well, the years were passing quickly, but not fast enough for him. He closed his eyes to 55, then he opened them up again. He looked around, he saw a cloud, and the cloud seemed very gay. So he sent that night to join that circus clown and run away. He had a girl in each new town and the towns he left behind. And the old Pan Road was the only road he knew. But the color of his dream was slowly turning into blue. Then he met a girl, the kind of girl he wanted all his life. She was soft and kind and good to him, so he took her for his wife. They got a house not far from town, and in a little while, the girl had seen a doctor when she came home.
be another one like you for me to love. There will never be another one like you for me to love. There will never be another moon. There will never be another sun. There will never be, never be another one for me. And signs that said no 
just a dream. You wish to come true, you wish to come true, you wish to come true. You wish to come true, you wish to come true. You wish to come true. Dreams you wish to come true, you wish to come true. You wish to come true, you wish to come true. Your wish will come true. Your wish will come true. It really doesn't matter if I'm wrong or right. 
just wandering, there I will go. Stick around. 
Let's wet a man in an unmarked plane that pulls you over just to say hi. What's your personality humor? Any place else but here. And do you fumble in your wallets while you're looking for your license? And he tells you not to talk with your mouth full. Don't you wish that you were any place else? Don't you wish that you were any place else? Don't you wish that you were?
za, za, za. Brought a board of coconut and bought it for a dime. My sister had another one, she paid it for the lime. She put the lime in the coconut, she drank a bowl of She put the lime in the coconut, drank a bowl of Put the lime in the coconut, she drank a bowl of She put the lime in the coconut, she called the doctor, woke him up, said, Doctor, ain't there no that I can take? I said, Doctor, to relieve his belly ache. I said, Doctor. Ain't there no that I can take? I said, Doctor, to relieve his belly. Now let me get this straight. You can put the lime in the coconut, drag a mold up. You put the lime in the coconut, drag a mold up. Put the lime in the coconut, drag a mold up. Put the lime in the coconut. Call the doctor who woke him up. Said, Doctor, ain't there no that I can take? I said, Doctor. To relieve his belly ache, I said, Doctor, ain't there no that I can take? I said, Doctor, to relieve his belly ache, you put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both together. Put the lime in the coconut, then you feel better. Put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Put the lime in the coconut and call me in the morning.
answer. Well, and you haven't got a question. And you haven't got a question. Well, well, then you haven't got a problem. <laughs> but if you never had a problem, everyone would be happy. <laughs>
song not long ago when things were green and moving slow and people stopped to say hello they'd say hi to you oh, would you like to come over for tea Misses and me. It's a real nice way to spend a day in Dayton, Ohio, on a lazy Sunday afternoon in 1903. Sing a song a long ago when things could grow and days flow quietly. Was clean and you could see, and folks were nice to you. Would you like to come over for tea with the missus and me? It's a real nice way to spend the day in Dayton, Ohio. On a lazy Sunday afternoon in 1903. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanya Moverly. That was a ball. I want to uh, thank Sidney Meyer and the staff of the for letting me stay here for 19 years. This is my home. I love him here. Thank you to the lovely Max on the floor. Welcome to my graphics. Thank you to uh, Eric, the uh, lights and sound. Thank you, Eric. Wow, six shows, man. That was fun. Uh, so I'm going to be bringing these all back. Um, they're going to be Monday nights. So March 5th will be uh, the March Anna show. Ian Herman will be March 26th. April 9th will be us again, me and John Weber. April 16th will be Stephen Ray Watkins. April 23rd will be Sean Harkness. And April 30th will be Rick Hannon. So mark your calendars, tell your people. Um, now that I've learned the words, I think, I uh, will be even better, you know? But that's what I like to do. I like to throw it up here, you know, get it going, and then, like, it deepens, you know, to do it over and over again. Um, I absolutely love my life. I love what I do. Um, it's, it's just so much joy, and uh, it means the world that you guys are here. Because without you, we're going to be singing all the way in. You know, so thanks for having us. We're going to be singing I will have song lists outside to tell you who wrote what and when. Um, and again, Mr. John Weber, you are here. I'm going to leave you with one more little ditty. Remember this a kiss is still a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. Jealousy and hate. A woman needs man, and man 
John Weber.